Super Kid vs. The Electric Villain On a dark and stormy night, the city of Metroville was plunged into utter chaos. Gigantic lightning bolts slashed through the sky, illuminating the buildings and deserted streets. But something far more sinister than a mere storm was looming over the city. Metroville's electrical energy was being absorbed by an unknown villain, leaving entire neighborhoods in darkness. Without power, hospitals, transportation systems, and even homes were paralyzed. Panic gripped the population. But when the darkness seemed overwhelming, a light shone from above. Super Kid flew swiftly among the clouds, his red cape fluttering in the wind. He had received the city's emergency call and was ready to face whatever was behind the strange storm. With his X-ray vision, Super Kid could see the source of the problem. Atop the tallest tower in Metroville, a mysterious figure was concentrating lightning and electricity into a massive device. The villain known as the Electric Villain had arrived. The Electric Villain was feared everywhere. His body was charged with pure energy, capable of controlling and absorbing electricity at will. He wore a black suit with glowing, sparking details that ran all over his body. He had a helmet that covered most of his face, leaving only his eyes visible, which glowed with an intense blue light. This villain not only stole energy, but also had the power to shoot powerful lightning bolts from his hands, destroying everything in his path. Super Kid landed gracefully on the tower's rooftop, his boots echoing on the metal floor as he walked toward the electric villain. The storm seemed to intensify around them, and lightning bolts dangerously zigzagged close to him. However, Super Kid showed no fear. Electric villain, shouted Super Kid, his voice rising above the roar of the thunder. Stop now. I won't let you cause any more harm. The electric villain turned slowly, a malicious smile on his face. Sparks of energy danced between his fingers as he spoke. Ah, Super Kid. I knew you'd come, but it's already too late. This city, the whole world will be my source of energy. The villain raised his hands to the sky, and with a dramatic gesture, he drew a lightning bolt directly into himself, making his body glow even brighter. With every passing second, I grow stronger. Super Kid frowned, understanding that it wouldn't be easy to defeat someone who could absorb and manipulate energy on such a scale. But he wasn't just any hero, and he was determined to save the city. I won't let that happen. Super Kid charged toward the electric villain, using his super speed to move faster than the human eye could see. The villain shot a bolt of lightning at him, but Super Kid dodged it with agility, spiraling around his enemy, searching for an opening. The battle was intense. The electric villain unleashed a torrent of electric attacks, launching lightning bolts and creating shockwaves that made nearby buildings tremble. Super Kid, with his incredible speed and reflexes, dodged each attack, using his shield to deflect the lightning bolts. His shield glowed with an energy that counteracted the villain's power. However, as the fight continued, Super Kid realized he couldn't just win by dodging. He needed a plan. Quickly, he thought about how electricity worked. He knew that to cut the flow of energy, he had to find a way to disconnect the electric villain from his power source. As he kept dodging attacks, his eyes caught something important. There was a strange device connected to the tower's antennas, which seemed to be the core from where the electric villain was absorbing the city's energy. That was the key. Determined, Super Kid changed tactics. He flew high, directly into the center of the storm, and began generating a magnetic field with his shield, drawing the villain's attention. What are you doing? shouted the electric villain, seeing Super Kid fly toward the core of his power. I'm going to cut your energy once and for all, Super Kid exclaimed, rushing toward the device. In a swift move, Super Kid delivered a powerful punch straight to the device, which exploded in sparks and smoke. Immediately, the energy began to dissipate, and the electric villain, without his power source, started to weaken. The lightning bolts that once surrounded him now disappeared. No, the villain screamed as he fell to his knees, unable to resist the loss of his energy. Super Kid slowly descended, watching as the electric villain tried to stand but no longer had the strength. The young hero approached him and firmly said, Your reign of terror is over. With the city safe once again, 
the electricity began to return little by little, lights flickering back on as citizens celebrated in relief. Super Kid, his cape waving in the wind, watched from the rooftop as Metroville returned to normal. Another victory for Super Kid, the tireless protector of Earth and the universe. And though the electric villain had been defeated, Super Kid knew that new threats were always lurking. But as long as he was there, the city and the world would be safe.